All right, and here's everything you need. Small desk fan, 8x8 heat exchanger with the pipes, small water pump, and the cardboard. That's beautiful. All right, then to set it up, you just drop the tubes in warm water. We'll pop the pump on the end, take the fan, slide it up. This fan is perfect because it touches right there and keeps the keeps the fan back of the fan just away from the fins and then you just drop the cardboard on either side then we'll fire up the pump and you're good to go Now the pump is fully submerged. You can see it quiets down a bit. Once you submerge the pump, air bubbles stop. There's the temp in the house. All right, now some super hot water, 140 Fahrenheit. Hopefully we can get 110 to 120 out of it now. The whole trick to these is just keeping a source of warm water. You can do that, you got warm air all day or cold. Put cold water in there and pump it through. It's like an air conditioner. Then when you're done, it just takes two seconds to pull apart. And you're good to go. Oh, and to drain this, all you got to do is pick it up, hold it up high, either outside or in the sink, like that. And all the water drains out. As far as the fan, I highly recommend this fan. I got them on Amazon for uh, 20 bucks now. I got this one like 10 years ago for 15 bucks at Kmart, but they still sell them. And the ratings, by the way, it's like five stars. 75% of the people that rate it rate it five stars, so it's awesome. Fan has a super smooth sound to it. That's on low. That's on high. It's about eight to 12 miles an hour. Eight miles an hour on low, 12 miles an hour on high. And that's pulling it through the fins. If you pull this fan away, it's probably a 20 mile an hour breeze with no restriction behind it. That's kilometers an hour. Here's just a quick shot of the DC option if you want to go high power 12 volt DC fan. I'm using a 7 inch car radiator fan, 12 volt, 80 watt. That pushes 1500 CFM. I just hooked it to a 10 by 12 half inch piece of plywood, screwed that on, two 2 by 4s cut down to make the frame. Added a little square 1 inch dial at the bottom. That makes a nice casing to drop it in. Little thing on the side, by the way, is just a optional motor speed control unit for the uh, the fan. Not necessary, but it's nice to have. 
So there you go. Seven, one oh eight. That's really close to furnace temps now. Hey there, just a quick vid to show you this cold water air cooling unit, the heat exchanger one, working as a heater. All right, let's fill up the sink. And as far as the pumps. If you're going to go DC, the best pump I found is a 350 GPH bilge pump. And for the AC, anywhere from the 200 to 400 GPH, just standard aquarium pumps. Probably 300 be optimum. But it works great.